all right dear students uh, now we are discussing ledgers what is the ledger ledger my dear students is a book that contain t accounts there are basically three types of ledgers there are three books that contain t accounts one is sales ledger another one is purchase ledger and lastly we have a general ledger sales ledger contains all the t accounts that belong to credit customers okay uh, whoever our our customers are maybe for example mr a mr b mr c whenever we are selling goods to our customers on credit so all the customers personal accounts or known as t accounts are made in a book known as a sales ledger then we have all of our or all of our credit suppliers so all of our credit suppliers accounts uh, are made in a book known as a purchase ledger maybe mr x mr y mr z all of the supplier t accounts it are made in a purchase ledger and all the customer t accounts are made in a sales ledger and there is another book which is known as a general ledger general ledger is also known as a nominal ledger and it is a book that contains all t accounts other than customer and supplier okay any books that are not relating to uh, uh, any t accounts that are not related to customer or supplier are made in a separate book which is known as a general ledger all other accounts other than customers and supplier may be sales account purchase account return inward account return outward account discount allowed discount received capital drawing expenses all the accounts other than customers or suppliers are made in a general ledger now let us make let us learn how to make t accounts how to make ledger account now as you can see in this question uh, uh, the examiner asked for enter the following transaction in respective ledger accounts and balance of these accounts so what we need to do for all of these account all of these transaction we need to make separate t accounts now let me quickly make few of the t account for you and let us start making journal entries or double entries in a ledger now first of all i have uh, made the heading journal ledger this means journal ledger contains all t accounts other than uh, those of customers or suppliers now uh, as far as journal entries or making t accounts is concerned we need to again revise some of our double entry concepts now we have already studied aed what is aed belongs to uh, we can remember it by uh, the, your currency aed uh, arab emirates dirham aed is asset expense and drawing and it is always debit in nature uh, this means my dear students whenever an asset expense or drawing increases or goes up it is always being debited now as you can see it is a t account because it is made in a t shape the left hand side of a t account is known as a debit side and right hand sides of the t accounts are known as credit side so whenever i'll say that you must debit this account this means we have to write this uh, uh, amount uh, in, on a debit side and whenever i say we have to credit an account we need to write the amount on the credit side lic we can remember it by a uh, mnemonic life insurance company lic and lic is always credit in nature what does lic means liability income and capital okay and a, a liability income and capital are always credit in nature and asset expense and drawing are always debit in nature okay so whenever a liability income or capital increases we are going to credit it and whenever a liability income or capital decreases we are always going to debit it okay now first of all we have a transaction of capital so now as you can see my dear student we have already uh, in the previous lesson we have already learned how to make a cash book so in a cash book we have already learned how to make cash or bank columns okay now let me show you the cash book we have already studied the cash book previously now once we have made a cash book it contains cash and bank columns okay it contains basically cash and bank t accounts so we are not uh, supposed to make cash and bank accounts again why because we have already made cash and bank accounts in the form of a cash book okay so any account that is other than cash and bank we are going to make uh, these accounts here in ledgers okay because we have already 
made cash and bank accounts previously okay now let me read the transactions for you again in the first transaction we have started business with 65000 cash now dear students if we have started the business there, therefore we have injected capital in our business okay so the nature for capital is always credit so whenever capital increases it would be credited now we are going to credit the capital account and we are going to write the reference uh, in the form of cash now what is the reference my dear students in double entry the account that is being credited would be complemented by uh, the account that would be debited okay if we are crediting the capital so we need to write a uh, which account that we debited okay so so we were talking about uh, how to make double entry in a t account so there is a rule for making double entry any account that is being credited should have the reference of the account that was debited okay so the capital is being credited why because due to cash so this uh, because of this we can remember that the capital was coming into the business in the form of cash okay now uh, there is some other transaction as well uh, in this we have invested 135000 through check okay so the entry would be bank would be debited and the capital would be credited why whenever the capital would be increased it would be credit so the entry would be cash would be debited and the bank would be debited and the capital would be credited okay whenever capital increases it is always credit uh, we bought a property for 80000 from peter and we agreed to pay him in future now as you can see property is an asset so we need to make a separate t account for a property so the property would be debited and the peter account would be credited okay so the property account would be deb debited and the reference would be peter and similarly the peter account would be credited why because peter is our liability and we haven't paid peter yet therefore the liability would be credited so the entry would be property would be debited and peter account would be credited in a, a property account we are going to write reference of peter and in the peter's account we are going to write reference of property okay so uh, just to revise this my dear students uh, any account that is being debited contain the reference of the account that uh, was credited and the account that was credited would contain the reference of the account that was being debited okay vice versa so uh, in a debit account we are going to write the reference of a credit and, and in a credit side we are going to write the reference of debit so if we are making a, a property account and we are uh, writing a reference uh, with the name of property so this would be incorrect okay we cannot write a, a property reference as property give me a minute let us move to the next transaction uh, then uh, we have received a loan from james now as you can see when we receive the loan the bank would be debited we have already debited the bank in a cash book we do not need to make a bank account again and now we need to credit the loan account so we, instead of writing james only we are going to write loan from james just to remember that we have taken out a loan from james so the loan from james is a liability and whenever the liability increases it would be credited and the reference would be bank okay loan would be credited with the reference of bank this means bank has been debited now as you can see we have bought good from D'Souza so we need to make a purchase account just remember we never make a account for goods or stock or inventory instead we are going to make account for sale and purchase so whenever we are buying goods the purchase account would be debited why because uh, the asset is coming into the business and whenever the asset increases it is always debited so we need to debit the purchase account and the reference would be D'Souza and we need to make another account for D'Souza so instead of making D'Souza's account here in a general journal I need to make uh, account in some other place and which is known as a purchase ledger so a purchase ledger contains T account for our suppliers okay so D'Souza is a supplier for goods so we need to make a D'Souza's account on a separate book which is known as a purchase ledger so the D'Souza's account would be created why because D'Souza is a liability because we have bought the goods from D'Souza but we haven't paid him yet so therefore it is a liability and a liability is uh, credit in nature so the D'Souza's account would be created and the reference would be purchased 
So uh, let us move to the next transaction. We have incurred carriage inward by cash. Now carriage inward is basically a, a type of expense. So what we need to doing, uh, do, we need to uh, make a new account for carriage inward and we are going to write the reference of cash. So carriage inward is a type of expense. So the carriage inward would be debited. Why? Because whenever an expense increases, it is always debited. So the carriage inward would be debited and the reference would be cash. This means we have paid for this carriage cost in the form of cash. Now let us see, are there any other transactions? We have sold the goods to Jimmy and receive a promise from him to pay later. So what we need to do, we need to make uh, a new account for sales. Now instead of writing, uh, instead of making an account for goods or inventory or stock, we are going to make a sales account. And a sales is always credited. Why? Because the goods are going out of the business. So the sales would be credited and the reference would be Jimmy. And we need to make another account for Jimmy. But the Jimmy's account won't be made here. Instead, we need to make Jimmy's account in another page and which is known as a sales ledger. Okay. Sales ledger contains all the T accounts relating to individual customers. So the Jimmy's account would be debited and the reference would be sales. Okay. So we cannot write uh, Jimmy uh, in the reference when we are making Jimmy's account. Why? Because we need to write the opposite reference. In Jimmy's account, we need to write the sales reference and in a sales account, we need to write Jimmy's reference. Now, let us move to the next transaction. We have incurred delivery cost by check. Basically, delivery cost is our uh, expense. So we need to make another T account for delivery cost. So the entry would be delivery cost, also known as carriage outwards. So delivery cost would be debited and we have paid it through check. So we are going to write reference of bank. So I'm not making cash and bank accounts here. Why? Because I have already made those accounts in a cash book. Then after that, we have paid insurance. Again, insurance is basically our expense. So we need to make another T account for insurance and insurance would be debited and the reference would be cash. So this means we can remember it this way. Then uh, when we um, saw an insurance account, we can remember, okay, we paid uh, for this insurance on this date through cash. Okay. And now what are some other transaction? Let's see sublet part of the shop to Hussein for rent by check. This means we have given out our shop or maybe part of the shop to Hussein and Hussein has paid at us rent immediately by check. Now the money is coming into the business. So the bank account would be debited and instead of writing the name of Hussein, we need to make uh, another account with the name of rent receive. Uh, now whenever we are paying rent, we are going to make a rent account. Therefore, it is an expense. Uh, we have received rent. See, uh, if we are paying rent to someone, we just need to make a rent account. Uh, if we write a rent account, it is suffice. We do not need to write a rent payable. If instead we can write rent payable or rent expense as well. Uh, and if we are making a rent account only, this means it is a rent expense. And if we are receiving rent, we are, need to make an income account with the name of rent receive. Now rent receive is an income and income is always credit in nature. So when we receive the check through uh, from this person, uh, Hussain, so we do not need to make Hussain's account. Instead, we need to make two accounts, one for bank and one for rent receive. So any income has a receive in the end, maybe commission received, discount received, rent received, fees received. Okay. We write received in here. Uh, after that, we have sold the goods in exchange for cash. So it would be recorded in a sales account. So we just uh, uh, discussed that we're never going to make a uh, goods account or inventory account. So we are going to make a sales account. So if we have already made a, an account once, we do not uh, need to open another account. Okay. Uh, in one question, we can only make one account for each head. Okay, we cannot make duplicate accounts. So the sales account would be credited. Why? Sales is always credit in nature because the goods are going out of the business. And in this uh, case, uh, the money is being uh, received immediately. We have sold goods in exchange for cash. So instead of writing the reference of customer, we are going to write reference of cash. So the entry would be cash account would be debited and sales account would be credited. Now uh, let's move to the next transaction. We have bought more goods in exchange for cash. 
we have bought more goods in exchange for cash this means it would be recorded in a purchase account okay so the entry would be purchase account would be debited we never use a goods account or stock account instead we are going to make purchase or sales account so the purchase is being debited and as you can see we have immediately paid the money so therefore we are going to write the reference of cash instead of writing uh, suppliers uh, reference that is D'Souza okay so after purchase there is another transaction we have repaid loan to James by check now as you can see uh, uh, James is uh, our supplier of finance he has given us finance therefore James is a liability so whenever we are paying off our liability liability would go down so the nature for liability is always credit so whenever we are paying off our liability liability would be debited and the bank account would be credited okay so the entry would be bank would be credited and loan account would be debited so initially when we received a loan the loan account was credited by 50,000 and then we returned 10,000 of that uh, the loan so the liability would be debited okay now uh, what is the next transaction that we need to uh, do the next transaction is uh, Jivita okay next transaction is some of the goods worth 5000 were defected and we return the goods to D'Souza so beta if we are returning goods to D'Souza we need to make a separate account for that and this is known as return outward return outward also known as purchase return is used whenever we are returning goods to suppliers whom we have uh, bought initially on credit basis okay so whenever goods are going out of the business instead of making a goods or stock or inventory account we need to make a return outward account also known as purchase return so return outward would be credited and the reference would be D'Souza means the opposite entry would be made in a D'Souza account okay so we also need to make the entry in D'Souza's account now as you can see we have already made D'Souza's account earlier so we need to debit this D'Souza's account <coughs> we need to debit this D'Souza's account and the reference would be return outward return outward now in the second transaction after that uh, Jimmy is a customer and he has also returned goods to us so we need to make another account for return inwards return inward is also known as a sales return whenever our credit customers return goods to us we need to make a separate account with the name of return inward so the return inward is always debit in nature why because the goods are coming into the business so the return inward would be debited and the reference would be jimmy mm -hmm. and as you can see we have already made a jimmy's account in a sales ledger so what we need to do we need to credit this jimmy's account why because if the jimmy has returned goods to us he won't be paying us for these faulty goods okay therefore we need to credit jimmy's account by 3000 then lastly we have few other transactions we paid half of the balance owing to D'Souza now let us see how much balance that we owe to D'Souza uh, initially we bought goods from D'Souza worth 30,000 and out of that we returned 5,000 of goods that were faulty now we are left with the 25,000 of debt that we need to pay D'Souza and in this case we have just paid half of the balance owing to D'Souza that is 25,000 divided by 2 so we need to pay D'Souza 12,500 and out of that 12,500 we have received a discount of how much of 5% so let me do some calculation for you 30,000 minus 5,000 that is 25,000 divided by 2 12,500 and if we apply 5% discount to that this is 625 now whenever we are paying our suppliers earlier than promise therefore it is a discount received so the entry would be D'Souza's account would be debited and the reference would be discount receive. Discount receive is basically an income for the business. So because of this discount our liability would go down and the nature for liability is credit and whenever the liability is decreasing it is always debited. So if we deduct 625 from the original amount of 12,500 that we were supposed to give D'Souza we are left with 11,875 so the entry would be bank would be credited by 11875 discount receive would be credited by 625 and D'Souza's account would be debited by 12500 okay 
so these are the two transaction then uh, lastly we have uh, another transaction we received a check from jimmy for 50000 and we allowed him discount of 2000 so the entry would be bank would be debited and jimmy's account would be credited we are not going to make bank account again we have already made it when we were making a cash book okay so the bank account would be debited and jimmy's account would be credited because jimmy has paid us this amount and we have also allowed him discount of 2000 so the entry would be discount allowed would be debited and jimmy's account would be credited in return okay so we have made these transaction uh, then second last transaction is that we paid the rent by cash so rent is an expense so previously we made a rent receive account but this time we are going to make a rent account only so if there is only rent this means it is a rent expense or rent paid okay so the entry would be rent account would be debited and cash account would be credited and the last uh, transaction is we have withdrawn the good from the business costing 2500 this is a drawing so the entry would be drawing account would be debited drawing is always debit in nature why aed asset expense drawing is debit so the drawing would be debited and we will be crediting a purchase account why because we have not taken out cash from the business instead we have withdrawn goods from the business so the entry would be drawing would be debited and purchase account would be credited so what we need to do we need to credit the purchase account as well we have already made a purchase account we just need to credit this purchase account okay so the purchase account would be credited with reference to drawing so let us learn how to balance these accounts at the end of the month or maybe the year we need to balance all of these t accounts now as you can see this left hand side is the debit side right hand side is the credit side now if we total both of these sides as you can see there is no uh, no transaction on the debit side therefore obviously the greater side is the credit side now the greater side would come on both of the sides and as you can see there is no transaction on the debit side this entire 200,000 would becomes a balance CD now what is the balance CD balance CD refers to as a balance carried down carried down is a closing balance that is the balance at the end of the month this balance carried down at the end of the year would becomes a balance brought down at the start of the next period okay so on the shorter side comes a balance CD that is balance carried down and on the opposite side would comes a balance BD this means at the end of the uh, year we have a capital of 200,000 at the end of the year we have a capital of 200,000 now let us uh, see uh, one or more T accounts then you can do the remaining yourself uh, and now as you can see on the property uh, there is only one transaction the debit side so the bigger side is always uh, debit here because it is an asset now uh, if there is only one transaction we do not need to write the total separately instead this 80,000 is a Peter transaction as well as it is a total as well okay so this 80,000 would come on both of the sides uh, and this uh, would becomes a balance CD here on the shorter side and this would becomes balance BD at the start of next period okay now similar is the case with the Peter there is no uh, balance on the debit side therefore the shorter side would becomes a balance CD and this would becomes balance BD on the start of next accounting period now uh, as you can see there are transaction on both of the sides in loan from James uh, now the bigger side is obviously the credit side so the bigger side would comes on both of the sides and the shorter side balance would be a balance CD we need to insert a balance in order to balance this account uh, that is 40,000 this is the balance carried down and this will, this would becomes a balance brought down at the start of next period okay so balance CD always comes on the shorter side balance BD would comes on the bigger side balance CD is a closing balance and balance brought down is an opening balance so balance CD on the uh, shorter side would becomes balance BD on the opposite side balance CD is, is, is it at the end of the year and balance brought down at, is at the start of the next accounting period okay so well, we can balance this as well and you can do the remaining uh, balancing yourself so all of the t accounts are being balanced at the end of the month and after balancing all of these accounts what we need to do we the next step is to make our trial balance so we'll be covering it in the next part